the Holy Spirit the Dove of Peace? The Dove representing the peace that we have today spread throughout the world, was raised on a napkin at the Hotel Minapol in Rocklaw, during the World Congress of Intellectuals in Defense of Peace in 1948. At the 1952 World Peace Congress in Berlin, Picasso's dove was depicted on a banner above the stage. The dove was defined for peace, as a symbol of world peace. In which the world, due to the Second World War, wanted a symbol of peace. His choice was purely aesthetic, and he sought that the countries would have unity so that another war would not occur. The dove in this format was directly linked to the creation of symbols for the establishment of the UN as an organization for uniting countries. Thus, the UN was created in 1945, and the choice of the peace symbol as a dove was chosen in 1948. The dove represents the peace that the world would give to the people of the earth the peace generated by the rulers to stop making war. The oldest origin of the dove as a symbol is found in Mesopotamia. The goddess in Ishtar was represented by a dove, being the goddess of love and fertility. Doves were a sign of worship since 3000 years before Christ. At the temple of Ishtar at Ashur dove-shaped leaf figurines, dating from 1300 BC, and a fresco painted at Marian Syria showing a giant dove emerging from a palm tree at the temple of Ishtar, determined that the dove was a representation of the goddess Ishtar. The ancient Canaanites used the dove as a representation of the goddess Asherah, defined as the goddess of fertility, as well as Aphrodite, whose temples had doves as sacred symbols. Thus, Animal representation as a standard description of deity is a pagan concept. In Jewish culture, the Old Testament defined the poor to sacrifice doves, because they could not have a lamb. But it was not used as a divine representation as was the case with the fertility goddess. In Christianity the dove was used with an olive branch. In the concept of Catholic culture, Peace was not in a dove, but in the olive branch, defined as Olia Iramus Colo. Thus, the dove was not of peace, but the olive branch. In this way, Catholic culture represented the dove related to the transport of the olive branch, as peace with God after the flood. The representation of the dove as the Holy Spirit in the New Testament Gospels does not define the dove of peace nor does it define the Holy Spirit as a dove-shaped deity. How does it define that God is represented by a burning bush? Such beings or objects are just ways to define the presence of God. Be it a smoking mountain, or a pillar of fire. God should not be represented in material forms, but his presence can be seen in forces of nature. Thus, it is not because a dove is observed that such is the representation of the Holy Spirit, only at the moment of Jesus' baptism such action took place, which does not give the dove any importance. Likewise the burning bush is only defined as the presence of God at that time, and no other, so a burning bush represents nothing. Just as a smoking mountain, as in the giving of the Ten Commandments, represents the presence of God, just then and no more. Burning a mountain does not represent the presence of God. God does not represent himself by material means. Thus, representing God by a dove is merely a pagan concept, linked to the goddess of fertility, Ishtar, Asra, or Aphrodite. Nor should the dove created for the peace of the world be considered as something connected to something Christian, knowing that Christianity defined peace, not because of the dove but because of the olive branch she brought. If you are looking for more content from different areas, visit the reformadorstasad.com website. 
news and detailed content can be found. With system of research and organization of text and video.